This is MathGuide.com, and my name is Mark Karadimos. In this video, we're going to talk about counting problems. Specifically, we're going to address scrambled letters, numbers, and objects. Our first section will address non-repeating letters. In our second section, we'll talk about repeating letters or numbers. And in our third section, we're going to talk about linear objects. All right, let's get started. All right, in our first section, we're going to talk about non-repeating letters. So let's say we had the word tower. Okay, we got this word tower. And we want to see how many ways are there to scramble up the letters in this word and then look at all the possible ways I could rewrite that those letters and um, see how many ways I could write new configurations using those letters. So in other words, if I scramble them up, um, up, they don't have to make a word. I just want to see how many ways I could scramble them up in a different way. Okay, so to understand this, uh, you really have to take the letters and imagine tossing them to the floor. Okay, so, yep, so you got to imagine a T, an O, a W, an E, and an R just laying on the floor. And as a matter of fact, I'm going to scramble them all up. So imagine me taking the letters tower, tossing them into this can, and just jostling them all around. You have no idea what order those letters are in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out those letters and I'm going to put them in a line. So here's four and there's five letters. So when I reach into the can and I pull out a letter, there's five different possible letters that I could put there, one at a time, obviously. So I have five different choices of putting a letter there. All right now, once I set that letter into place, that letter is now gone from the bucket. So now I pull out of the bucket another letter. There's four possible letters left. And likewise, now that that letter is gone, I've got three letters I possibly could put here, two letters I could put here, and one letter I could use, uh, put there. Now, according to the fundamental counting principle, I, can, I have to multiply these together so one choice has nothing to do with the other, and I multiply them all together. Okay, multiply them all together, and I get a 120. So there's 120 ways I could mix up the word tower. Okay, well, what if I had the word silver? If I had the word silver, there would be six blanks. Okay, so if I pull, put them all inside this bucket, scramble them all up, there's six possible numbers I could put, or letters, I should say, I could put there. Then there's five, four, three, two, one. Obviously, I'm going to multiply them together, fundamental counting principle. And I multiply them together, and I get 720. So there's considerably more ways to scramble up the word silver and make a whole bunch of different other distinguishedly different arrangements of letters. All right, let's check out some different problems in our next section. Before we get into the math of repeating letters and numbers, let's talk about something called a factorial. If you were to see this expression, 5 factorial, it means 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Because we saw this in our last section that we had these numbers that trail off like this. More conveniently, we could plug into a calculator 5 factorial if we ever have to multiply all this kind of garbage together. If we ever had 7 factorial, it means 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Okay, that's all called 7 factorial. Okay, I'm going to use this, these factorials to speed things up for these problems. All right, now with that in mind, let's take a look at the word toot. I want to figure out how many ways can I scramble this up, you know, the, the letters from this problem, and, so, and get a new, new set of words, or I should say, they're not really going to be words, but at least an arrangement of letters. Okay, like for instance, I could take toot as one combination. I could uh, put T-O-T-O -T -O as another combination. Yep, these look totally different. They would count as two different combinations. Uh, I could put T-T-O-O. -T -O -O. That's another arrangement of letters. 
Okay. Um, let's see. What else could I do? I could put O T O T. Okay. There's also let's see O T T O. And I could also do O O T T. All right. Now it turns out these are the only combinations available. Uh, if I try to, let's say, just take these two letters and switch their order, you know, someone would say, hey, isn't that a different combination? No, it's not. It looks like the same thing. So we want to scramble up the letters so that we get what look like unique different arrangements. I don't want to duplicate. Okay, so I want to eliminate that one right there, that last one. It just doesn't count. See, normally, if I was going to do the problem like we did in the last section, you know, the math would, you would think would be done like this. You'd say, oh, you know, there's, there's four different letters, right? And so there's four for the first possibility. There's three, two, one. And you think, oh, I multiply them together. There's four factorial. You know, if I do that, if I multiply all these together, I'm going to get 24. You know, and that's the wrong answer. There aren't 24 combinations. There's only one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I want to show you mathematically how to come up with the six without having to scramble everything up to look at every possibility. Okay, so let me show you the right math. Or I should say the correct math. Okay, so the way you do this is you would say, uh, okay, yep, there are four factorial. That's four times three times two times one like we came up with. However, because there's repeats, you'd say, what letters are repeating? You'd say, oh, the T is repeating and the O is repeating. Okay, how many T's are there? There's two T's, so I put two factorial in the denominator. How many O's are there? There's two O's. I'm going to put two factorial in the denominator. So what I do then is I actually take this, okay? So I'm actually going to take this. I'm going to put that in a calculator, and I'm going to see what the number comes up to be. And the answer is... 6, like we see here. Okay, let's try a couple more. All right, let's try football. Okay, so here's the word football. All right, now when you take a look at the word football, we'd see how many letters are there. There's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. There's 8 letters. Now you would think, oh, 8 factorial. Nope because there's repeating letters. All right, what's repeating? You've got the letter O is repeating. You got the letter L is repeating. Let's see, is there anything besides, uh, nope, that's it. Okay, so I know there's two O's and there's two L's. Okay, so I plug this in a calculator. It's gonna tell me how many different ways I can arrange this. All right, this one has a large number. It's one, zero, zero. 80. Okay, so it turns out there's 10,080 different ways to arrange the letters in football to, to scramble them up. Okay, let's try one more. Okay, so I found a neat uh, word, lily pilly, just a type of tree. Okay, it's a word. So I want to figure out how many ways I could scramble up these letters. Well, let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's ten different letters. Uh, however, there's some repeats. I got some L's. I got some I's. Uh, L's and I's, right? Yep, that's it. L's and I's. Well, how many L's do I got? One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to put five factorial for the L's. How many I's? One, two, three. Okay, I'm going to plug this into a calculator. And I think I'm going to have to put the answer right down here. Okay, turns out there's 5,040. And there you go, 5,040. Okay, let's tr go to our next section. All right, so let's say we wanted to take three objects, book, game, and paper. Well, we want to figure out how many ways can I scramble them up and put them in a line. Well, really, I'm just going to use letters. I want to know how can I arrange the book, the game, and the paper 
and put them in some scramble them up. How many different ways can I put them in a line? It's easy. This is a scrambled letter problem. So really, I have three different objects. There's no repeating objects. It's just three factorial, right? Since there's nothing repeating, I don't need to put anything down here. It's unnecessary to make a denominator. So all I do is multiply, and I'm going to get 3 times 2 times 1. I could do this by hand, and it looks like there's six. There's six different ways I could arrange a book, a game, and a paper. Maybe it's a pad of paper. There's only th six different ways I could arrange those three objects. Okay, let's try the people. All right, so I've got Greg, Peter, Bobby, Marsha, Jan, and Cindy, one big happy family. And uh, what I want to do is figure out how many ways I could scramble them up. So you could see that there's no person repeating. And that's, you know, even if we had twins, maybe. Indistinguishable twins, yeah, okay, this, this could be an interesting problem. But we have no repeating people here. So how many ways are there to take one, two, three, four, five, six different people and arrange them and put them in a line? Uh, okay, well, we could put uh, six factorial. Plug it in a the calculator. There's 720 ways to arrange these six siblings. Okay, now I also brought up the case. What if two people were twins? Okay, let's say Jan and Cindy were twins and an outsider who was looking at these two would never be able to tell them apart. That's how closely they, how close they look to each other. All right, so let's say that's the case. Well, you'd say in that situation where there's twins, indistinguishable twins, you'd say, okay, there's six objects. Ah, uh, but however, these two are repeating. So if I switch their order, no one would know. Well, no one would be able to tell the difference. So now I plug this into the calculator, and this is 360, half as many. Interesting. Okay, so this has been MathGuy.com. Uh, I'd like you to go back to uh, the website, check out our interactive quizzes, our instructional videos, and our text-based lessons. Take care.